why I call this meeting here is to inform each and every one of you that uh, Jim Coulter and his gang, well, they're coming into town. They're going to try to take the town, the bank, and everything else that goes with it. Now, I'm going to put my best rifleman along with myself on the tops of buildings, in alleys, and wherever needed. I just feel that the rifle has more range than a six gun. And I shoot from a steady foundation, and these men shooting from the movement of a horse. I feel they're going to be in for a big surprise, but uh, we're not going to be able to take all of them, and some of us are going to die. So I want rescue men to take the women and children to the farms and ranches and protect them. Because uh, that's where these men are going to retreat after this conflict in town. Oh, it's good to be back. I just got back from Hickory Forge. We stopped the outlaw gang that invaded the town. I just feel the need to help these people because I helped bring justice to that town. What you're saying is this man's leaving a trail of dead bodies wherever he goes. You don't have a description because he don't leave any witnesses. That's hard for me to believe, but if I did believe you, how do you expect to find me? 
No, I don't think I'll be heading this way. See where we're aiming to stop them. These outlaw gangs, they band together in order to survive, and in the frontier, they camp. The deadliest of them all is John Ringo. If he spots the sheriff's posse, he'll get his gang and hunt them down and kill them. That's right, I've heard that John Ringo was an honest man and a good citizen. He was accused of a crime that he didn't commit, and he was sentenced to hang. He escaped, and his life was destroyed. Been out long run, he just destroyed his marriage. So uh, he became an outlaw in order to survive. Texas Rangers and there was not so good lawmen. The poor man, he gets arrested, he breaks the law, he gets hanged and he pays. These rich guys, these rich ranchers, they were paying them gold to get them off and there's too many of them getting away with murder and stealing and, and I had a belly full of it. And I just, I just had to, oh, I had to have justice at any cost. I decided, I gave them an ultimatum. Let's have justice for the rich and the poor alike. They wouldn't have no part of it, especially that territory we're in. So I fixed it. I resigned. I was a captain of Texas Rangers. I'd had a belly full of their politics. Politics is what's going to ruin this country. You said that right. Politics is why I quit and became a bounty. At least I can make sure that the Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm coming out!
Ready? No. Check it. Ready? I'll go with that. Yeah, I know you men have got me outnumbered, but so I got two forty-five strapped on me. A gun for each one of you. Now what? Uh, think about it. Ready? No. Check it. Ready? I'll go with you then. Ringo, I heard that you were seen on the mountain crest. I knew you were coming. I had to kill some of your men to get in here. Like I said, I knew that you were coming. So I got my men dug in along the tree line. Now, uh, you got some choices. You can go back in with them and hang and I know you don't want that. I know you're a man of your word. And if you promise me that you never force anybody into a gunfight and I only kill in self-defense, I'll get my men and I'll ride out of here. Bring God know that you're a man of your word. All I'm asking for is your word. Your word, Ringo. You wanna stand up and face me like a man, or do I shoot you sitting down? Thank you.